And I love your podcast. And I love the, the uh, name of the podcast. It's something I believe we don't do often of seizing the moment. We live and we dread what has happened to us and live there. And we fear what's happening in the future. So we really never live in the moment. And I think it's so important. Just seize the moment that's in front of you. And so your name of your podcast speaks volume. Absolutely. It's, it's important to, to be in the moment. Mm -hmm. I could even tell by the picture in your background, I see the photo <laughs> head. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I mean, thank you obviously so much for coming on and kind of being a part of all of this, man. We are really grateful for it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And you're a hero. Like I've actually seen some of uh, on social media, some of the live videos that have been playing lately. And I see you're going around to different boroughs, uh, giving masks out to people, giving food out to different people. And to me, that's that's amazing because I'm not used to seeing elected officials, you know, doing things like that, uh, going out personally and, and, and seeing people, especially in a crisis like this, you'd think, you know, you'd have other people doing that for you. But to personally do that, that's that's admirable. That's that's amazing. Well, I've, I've several things that uh, uh, they, that are important to me. Uh, number one, uh, from my days of policing, uh, you know, I believe that generals are supposed to lead from the front, uh, not only substantive and what we do and the decisions we make, but I don't think people realize the emotional a uh, charge that an individual that's going to a, to a through a crisis, when they see their general in the front line, you know, how do I tell a police officer, a school crossing guard, a 9-11 operator, a nurse uh, to go out and put themselves into the battle of COVID-19, yet as the general, I'm sitting behind a computer analyzing what's happening on the ground. No, it was important. For 40 plus days, I, I slept in my office uh -huh. and... I got up every morning and went to hospitals to deliver masks, went to NYCHA facilities. I wanted people to see in Brooklyn and throughout the city uh, that uh, I'm, on the, I'm in a battle with you. The, the generals don't send their troops into battle. They lead their troops into battle. And that's what I wanted to do, uh, to lead the city into the battle of COVID-19. 